Lee, bruh, what it goddamn be, bruh. It is Scorpion Res. I am back at it once again. I feel like I just seen you because y'all are the goddamn best out here. Okay, let me tell you something, Libra. I love you, boo. I love you. Listen. We're here to find out what's going on with you guys for April. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing and showing love to my page. And please, I hope you feel the love right back because I show the, show the, show the, show the love you because y'all show up and y'all show out. Um, if you are new to the page and if you would like to book a personal private reading, you can do so by clicking that about tab. All right. There is a hyperlink at the bottom that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If at any time this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation, you can do so by using the hyperlink for my PayPal that's in the description. Let's get into the energies for April for my lovely, lovely Libras, okay? Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for allowing us to just rejoice and rejoin together and just, you know, just kind of collaborate, collective minds, you know, <laughs> type of thing. Because, like, we really have a good time with Libra because, you know, we all kind of going through the same journey and we all just kind of each one teach one. And we all be leaning on each other and we be helping each other through the process. And I thank you so much for so many giving, loving people that's just surrounding the sign of Libra at this moment. Because let me try to tell you, we coming up, baby. We coming up. And I thank you so much for this glow up, Father God. I thank you so much for this show up, Father God. Thank you because we showing up and we showing out. Father, I ain't going to hold you. Please give us two. Please give us guidance for the sign of Libra. Thank you so much for all of the messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us intuition. Please give us love, light. Please give us inspiration. Please give us the energy to wake up and feel beautiful, self-love and inspire and abundant within so it would come back to us without. Thank you so much. Give us guidance for the sign of Libra. Mm -hmm. Give me guidance for the sign of Libra for April 2019. All right, thank you so much. Give me guidance for Libra. Compassion. <laughs> All right, I'm telling you right off the back. <laughs> I hate y'all. Oh, I hate y'all. <laughs> Libra, people don't got on your love. Libra, people don't got on y'all wrong side. And like, <laughs> I'm just really getting an intuition and tell you to be more compassionate. Because you just ain't taking shit from nobody. Like, you been being mean. Like, and you been being, like, you enjoy being mean. Like, you y'all know how y'all can be, though. Like, y'all. <laughs> Libra, what it be, bruh? What it be right now, Libra? Because <laughs> y'all get a kick out of being an asshole sometimes. Like, listen, show some people some compassion. Like, listen. Just, like, be done. Like, you don't even got to, like, even entertain certain bullshit. Just be done with this shit. Show these motherfuckers compassion. Just be like, look, I'm just going to start ignoring you. I ain't even about to entertain this shit with you no more. Because, you know, you bringing the bad side out of me where I'm doing evil, petty-ass shit to you. You know what I'm saying? And you just clearly ain't getting it. So, let me just leave you the whole fuck alone. You leave me the whole fuck alone. You know what I'm saying? That's the best thing for all of us in this situation here, okay? God damn it. Shit. 
compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is reborn, drawing new people and new experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel an ever-deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. And I just honestly feel like, like deep in y'all heart, like Libra, and I don't know, I'm feeling like to go right here to the heart chakra cards. Um, I feel like deep in my heart, Libra, it's just like you know deep in your heart that you have a deeper purpose and that you just have, it's a task that's being put on you that God wants you to accomplish right now. And it's just like you're learning how to change and you are, you know, just... Being a, a, a new person and you are being reborn and you are attracting brand new blessings to you and you just like, dear Lord, I see and I, I see where you're going with this and I just only hope that I could be, you know, what you expect me to be in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Because you know and you see what God is doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever your higher power is, whoever you look to spiritually. Like you, you, you get it. You're being told to listen. You're being told to listen. This is about balance. This is about you using uh, your intuition. It's just letting you know that you know you are most definitely being supported right now. All right. So this is about some cooperation and you listening, listening. You know. This is a peacemaking kind of ceremony at this moment. You see what I'm saying? And God is guiding you spiritually and then trying to tell you to listen to me, baby. Listen to me. You don't have to be so mean. And you know what? I see that around her neck. I see around her neck she has a red stone. And I take that to be the root chakra. So it's just letting you know that you are protected. Like, you were always protected. You were always protected. And just be grounded. And just listen. Just listen. I'm telling you the tea. I'm telling you, like... Refusing to see. And release. Okay. Love about awaiting results or rebuild. Okay, so this is what I'm getting right off bucks. I feel like for a long time that you were refusing to see, and it's been a long process with you releasing because you really just did not see that this. <sighs> You, 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 and you still don't believe about this, that this love is just hanging around and bounding your energy. You still re waiting to see results as you're rebuilding, but you're not. Okay, so listen. Ooh, for a long time, you were refusing to see. And you know, Libra, we already noticed that you hung on to this situation for a long ass goddamn time. You were almost damn near stubborn. And I feel like some things went lower than lower than low in this situation. And I feel like you just kind of sat there and tolerated. And you really were like refusing to see and were like refusing to release this situation. And because like you kind of took so long doing that and you, you wasn't listening. And God wants you to listen now. It's like you weren't listening. Will you please will you please have patience with me and listen to me now? I'm telling you to listen to me now. And I'm glad that you're finally starting to see and you finally released this situation. As long as it took you to do it, I'm glad that it did. But I still need you to feel and believe that this love is abound and it is coming to you in an upward bounds, you know? But if you're not listening to me and you're refusing to see and still not releasing something, because I want to say you to some aspect, you're still not seeing 
the bigger picture you still have on you still haven't released this because you're still having to be compassionate with person because I still feel like you're engaging with this person in some type of way where you're being mean and having like a verbal word battle with this person you see what I'm saying you know how y'all air signs can be y'all y'all very witty y'all can use y'all words to just cut someone down and just like really kill someone from the inside out type of thing like that and it's like you'll never see this love you'll never feel this love you'll never believe that this is around if you don't really see what and listen to what we're trying to do here we need you to release this so this love can start coming more inwards. I know that you're awaiting results and you're rebuilding right now. But are you really uh, expecting to get results during the rebuilding process? No. You ain't finished building yourself. Finish your work. You know. And then you will see the results. You can't await results and you still like hanging on to something and still entertaining something you gotta love people enough to leave them alone you see what i'm saying and even if they're bothering you you have to be compassionate and be like i'll call the police that's fine don't engage like don't feed the beast because the more that you feed the beast the more that the you know <laughs> You're just making it a more, just more tricky and dangerous situation. The more and more that you feed in the beast here. You see what I'm saying? So, why you sit there awaiting results? And yes, you are growing. You're growing. You are growing. And you are definitely growing spiritually. Why you are waiting results? That number seven is telling me that you are in a withdrawal state. You are rebuilding and you are working on yourself. But I'm and I'm I'm just telling you because I know that you're not really engaging with this person. I just want you to don't engage at all. If this person messaged you, just laugh, block. Don't even allow it to ruffle your feathers or nothing. Laugh, <laughs> blocked. Call your investigator here. This person is um, um, bothering me again. Here you go. Can you please get this person? Thank you. I'm going to work now. Like, like for real. Like, send this stuff. So, whatever case or whatever. If you got a stalking case or whatever that you try to build. Someone's. Because I really do feel like someone do got like a stalking case or something. Because, like, someone has just been relentless. And it's like you trying your best. Because <laughs> You see how she's like, listen, listen, Linda, because I'm about to beat your ass. If you fucking come around here one more game, <laughs> listen to me. You listen to me. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> you ever see your mother clasp her hands together like this? Like she just. Look how she looking. Look, list, look. You ever had your mother look at you like this? You knew you was about to get fucked up. Libra. <laughs> you see how your radiation is? You see how the radiation is? It's like, listen. I'm about to fuck your whole shit. <laughs> I'm about to fuck your whole shit up. So I can't even, because I don't even know if I'm supposed to use this car, bitch, because I'm sorry. I'm too busy fucking laughing. I'm sorry, y'all. But y'all are steadily growing. Y'all steadily growing. Don't let nobody pull you. Don't let nobody pull you there. Like, release this person and just stop entertaining it, period. Just show some compassion and just, uh -huh, just smile through it. You understand? If someone called you, soon as you hear their voice, hang up, block. Report that number, you know. <laughs> and like I said, if it really gets to that, then yeah, you need to. If you need to call somebody and get a restraining order, get a damn restraining order. This person is irritating the emperor. What is this? The seven of water. Mm -hmm. You're like I'm tired of goddamn selecting the wrong shit. I'm. I need. It's time for me to make better decisions in life. Not an air. Yeah, there you go, patiently waiting your results. What the 
fuck? What the hell going on? Alright, so you got the emperor. Okay. And I do take this as someone is trying to be a good man and everything. But I definitely see this person as controlling or whatever. Might be dealing with an Aries or just, you know, a fire sign. A um, Sagittarius, Aries, a Leo. And, and it's like you're, you're making better decisions. You, you, you've learned from your lessons before. You've definitely learned from your lessons before. Because the lessons from before... It just it it, it 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 circulated your head so much and it um kept you in a place of just anxiety where you really just didn't have any peace and you know you uh weren't able to sleep and um you were just very stressed and anxiety written. But right now the only thing circulating your head is peace and hope and happiness and you're like you're truly you're truly truly in a tranquil place right now, um Libra. You truly are. Like I said, the seven of earth. You are too busy focused on all of the hard work that you've been putting in and change and waiting for you to receive the fruits of your labors. You know, you, you like I said, you've been awaiting results right now. Like, that's all you're worried about. And it's just, and like, if this is a Libra male, um, I want to say for my Libra males, like, you are stepping up in this emperor role. Like, you are kind of taking on that fireside energy you are being a little bit more in control of the situation that you know you're around like you're, you're not just letting anything just slide past you like you want to be in control you want to know everything that's going on you want to be a leader like you want to be a protector provider and everything like you're determined to do everything right this time and it's not being in control in a bad way you just tired of making bad decisions and you just want peace surrounding you and you just ready to receive the fruits of your labor now this five of water right here you know i feel like you think back to the past a lot it's like a lot of thoughts and nostalgia a lot of things that you think back to and i and i i feel like you think back to when it was better days and things made a lot more sense to you. And I feel like you hold on to those memories because it was something that was just very valuable to you. However, I feel like this was a situation where you were always walking a tight rope. And, you know, it was like a balancing game with that peace in that situation. And I felt like um, it was just a losing battle for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, it, it was very fond memories. There's a lot of nostalgia. And you think back to this situation a lot. But it was a tight rope. It was a tight rope walk. It was a tight rope walk, okay? And you were dealing with someone that... It was a losing battle. Like you were just not going to win in this situation. Like eventually you were going to fall. And as much as you try to surround peace around this line that you had to cross. And as beautiful and as graceful as you made it look. Like at the end of the day you knew it was a losing battle. You knew that this person that you were dealing with was treacherous. And very mentally manipulating. And just willing to do whatever the fuck that they had to do. So as long as they can get ahead. You know what I'm saying? And you just being the angel that you was, just try to find peace in it. And you held on to this situation for a long time. You held on it for peace and sanity. And just because I feel like this person meant a lot to you. And that's why, you know, you still think back to the past and you have very far memories of this person. And I feel like this person triggers you keep trying to come around. Because I feel like they keep trying to make you... Think back and go back to those emotions of the past and things like that. But it's just like, I look, look. They want you to think to the emotions of the past. And you looking this way. You looking at your money and just everything else that you've been working hard. You not looking over there. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you're focused on. You're not focused on the past. You're focused on this. And it's just like, I'm just not even entertained by that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I held on to that. And yeah, I do still hold on to memories, but I know that it's a losing battle. So it's just like, why, 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 why should I be focused on that? I'm focused on everything that I've been working on. 
and everything. <laughs> like, I've been working on keeping this circulating energy of peace around me. My mental thoughts is nothing but peace. I trust you. When I go to bed every night, I rest easy than a bitch. Do you get me? <laughs> Do you get me? That's what they're focused on. That's what Libra is focused on. Everything that they've been working on, receiving the fruits of their labor, and going to bed peaceful. <laughs> Not with no stress around their head. Going to bed peaceful. Then a bitch. Okay? Because they already know not to make the same mistakes no more. They already know how to choose wiser, smarter, you know? And to be in more control and just be a leader of their situation. Not just being easily influenced and manipulated just because it's like, you know, I feel like before, like, Libra did a lot of things because they love somebody. And Libra is like, nah, fuck that shit. I'm doing this shit because I love me. I ain't doing shit no more because I love no motherfucking body. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> Libra, like, oh, God, like, y'all are just, like, I'm not, I'm just not for it. And, like, I want to pull y'all a rebel card. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Let's pull some out the rebel deck and see what kind of rebel-ass energy <laughs> Libra is in. <laughs> Libra, y'all fronty is hell. Okay. Oh, and this is the rebel deck couples edition. I'm going to have to pull the other one out, too. So, give me some guidance for the Libra couples. Thank you so much. Give me some guidance for the Libra couples for April. They're still waiting. <laughs> do the shit they asked you to do forever ago do the shit that they asked you to do forever ago they're still waiting so this is what i'm getting for the libras that are in like couple of relationships this is what i'm getting okay i feel like in y'all relationship y'all need to be a little bit more compassionate and understand like look don't nobody like to keep repeating itself i you like i'm we're not children. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be equal balance. Like, that's what Libra is about, balancing the goddamn scales. So, like, at the end of the day, like, you can't, you can't expect me to give you a certain level of respect or give you a certain level of energy. But when I ask you to do something for me, like, you still got me sitting here fucking waiting for some shit that I asked you to do years ago. And it's like, whatever whatever y'all waiting for, it's like, I'm still fucking waiting. Okay, so Libra is telling y'all, cross watch or whoever it is that you're in this, in this couple relationship or whatever. Y'all going through some shit and, you know, maybe y'all are on a breakup or something right now or whatever. Or y'all might be going through something and to, you need to show Libra some uh, uh, compassion. And do whatever the fuck this is because they're still waiting for you to do some shit and you still ain't showing no goddamn effort. You ain't showing no effort. You ain't showing no effort whatsoever. What's this? Just say those five little words. You decide where to eat. <laughs> Just say those five little words. I feel like there are certain decisions that... There are certain decisions, there are certain words, like certain simple words that... Your partner wants to hear just like some appreciation, some compassion, just to just show that you care. Just like, come on, just even just picking where the fuck to eat sometimes. Just kind of like being that leader, being that emperor, like being in control, like really just being that protector, that leader, that provider. Like maybe like Libra is saying, I'm still waiting. Like I'm still waiting for you to step up and be that fucking emperor. And I'm tired of making the same decision dealing with you you know i want to be peace when i go to bed i want to be peaceful and i just want to focus on me right now i you know to I, I i appreciate all the past memories and everything like that and i do hold on and i cherish them but it's like walking a tightrope with the situation you know you got to be compassionate with me i'm trying to show you compassion and everything like that i'm just i just want you to make some decisions sometimes where everything is not on me you know what i'm saying that's that's honestly like what I'm getting from Libra, I feel like they're frustrated in their relationship because they're looking for some type of compassion and cooperation 
from their partner because they just feel like a lot of shit like they just doing everything and they, they want that emperor like they really want Libra wants that emperor someone that's going to take charge someone that's going you know handle shit get shit done like ain't going to ask no questions just, that's just going to lead you know what I'm saying like that's what Libra's looking for you know and I feel like even for the Libra men these emperors like they're looking for a woman that's going to take charge that's going to lead you know what I'm saying like when they go to bed they want to go to bed with peace over their head you know you think someone is lying. Mm. I'm going to throw that back, bitch. Nope. Nope. Somebody said don't throw that back. Where'd that go? You think someone's lying. You think someone's lying. So for my single Libras, is someone that you're dealing with in your life that you think someone is lying? You think someone is lying? I was about to throw that shit back. And some said, no, nope, bitch. Put it down. You think someone is lying. They are. Oh my God. You think someone is lying. They are. Shut it the fuck down. Shut it the fuck down. We ain't playing around. Mm. Ooh. What is this? Believe what you see. Believe what you see, Libra. Face reality or live in fucking La La Land. Choose bravely. <gasps> Single Libras. <gasps> Ooh, that's why God was like, bitch, no, put that fucking card down. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Put that damn card down like I just told you to. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? Bitch, what? But I want you to know that you are loved, Libra. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. That was on top of that. Wow, bitch. Wow, bitch. What is this one saying over here on the top? Ooh. It says, get hot and sweaty. Work out and grow old as fuck together. For the couples. Get hot and sweaty. Work out and grow older together. I feel like in this relationship, this relationship is sound. Like for you guys that is in a relationship and y'all relationship is not that bad. Y'all are not in this relationship where it's like someone is completely walked away or whatever. It's somewhat salvageable. I definitely feel like, so I feel like someone is just waiting for you to say like, I love you. Um, or just like show some type of initiation or just something you know what I'm saying Ooh, ooh, that was that was that was that was spitty dicey that was spitty dicey let's dig deeper y'all let's dig deeper in love let's see what's shit popping for my singles and for my couple Libras and you know I gotta do y'all a little bit you know I gotta get y'all a little bit more respect on the on the table Cause y'all be doing my thing. Y'all be y'all be showing me a lot of love. I gotta break it down like this for y'all. Maybe I might do it like this for the other um signs. What y'all think? If y'all cross watchers and y'all be watching the other readings, y'all want me to do it like this for y'all and y'all readings. Signs. So for my partners, signs. And the pride and ego. Y'all need to pay attention to your signs. You letting pride and ego get in the way of your relationship. Yeah. You letting pride and ego. Y'all need to pay it for, for my couples. Y'all need to pay attention to the signs. You're letting your pride and ego get into your relationship. And make, you know, and make either you or the person that you're dealing with. Feel like a victim to your pride and ego. And this person is paying attention to the signs. It's like I'm not I'm not battling with your pride and your ego because you don't you feel like you ain't gotta do shit or just like I gotta carry this relationship and it's just like no, I feel like a fucking slave. I feel like a victim to this situation. Like, you know, I'm waiting for I'm still waiting for you to step up and do certain things. I just need you to say five little words, you know? I want this relationship to get hot and sweaty. I'm ready for it to excel and go somewhere else. But because of your fucking pride and ego. And I feel like for certain um 
uh, Libras that's in a relationship, y'all feel like y'all want to have some kinky sex. Y'all want it. Y'all want y'all relationship to go somewhere else or whatever. But then the person that you fuck with is like, I don't do that. I, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. And you just feel the victim to that shit because you just like, you know, because this person's pride, their ego, whatever the hell it is. Like, I got this boring ass fucking relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, uh, I just, I, I feel like it's just like. I definitely feel like it's some frustration and, and like someone feels like they waiting for someone to step up and take control and they tired of just making the wrong choices. They just want peace and they've been working on a lot of things and they've been trying to hold on to the situation. You know what I'm saying? But it feels like they're walking a tight fucking rope here. What is this? You're getting some negative vibrations. You will most definitely be getting some negative vibrations, my single Libra. Because you think someone is lying and they fucking are. Fifth dimension. I feel like you guys might be getting some type of vibe, Libra. Like, I feel like you guys in an inner child came out in reverse. I feel like you think this person is childish is all fuck. Um, and this might be somebody that you used to deal with when you were younger with that inner child being right there. But I most definitely want to say, Libra, I want to say that this person that you're dealing with right now, you're feeling hella vibrations and you're feeling it negatively on all levels, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, just like everything. I feel like even in your dreams, you be dreaming about this shit. You see what I'm saying? Like your psyche, your intuition, just like on a deep level, is just like really picking up some negative vibes. And spirit is trying to say, you think someone is lying. They are. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. Choose bravely. And spirit is also letting you know that you are loved. You are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. You have come through so much. You have changed so much. You've gone through so much. And I feel like you've met someone new. And I feel like they kind of brought out that inner child in you. But at the end of the day, you're starting to look at certain shit like you're just fucking childish. There's one thing of someone bringing out the inner child in me, but then there's another thing that when it comes down to the meat and potatoes and shit, your child is this shit, and I don't like the vibes that I'm getting from you, bitch. And I can feel this shit on all frequencies, and I don't fucking like it. I need you to grow the fuck up. Like, I really need you to grow up. And I feel like you're lying and I feel like you're, you're full of shit. And I've been trying to show you some compassion because I'm changing a lot. And you know what? All this is cool because as I'm changing, I'm just going to show you some compassion because the Lord has been blessing me and been bringing me to new and different people and new and, and, and brighter opportunities every day. I don't even have to worry about you. Like, that's honestly how I'm feeling like the single Libras are feeling. It's just like, damn, like, after all of this bullshit that I went through, like, I finally met someone new. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this person is lying to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and or y'all might be still dealing with this ex-person. You know? But I'm really hoping that y'all are not. The only reason why I'm saying that because it, it's that refusing to see and that release being in the in the reverse, like you know, and that love abound is being blocked by something or somebody, and it's probably because you're still hanging on, you know, because it said you're still hanging on. Goddess, the central en energy is goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. I feel like as you're growing, Libra, like this whole journey is really about self-love and beauty. And look how beautiful she is, honey. You are a goddess, especially my Libra females. And then for my Libra males, I feel like this is for you to kind of just like cherish and honor like the divine feminine to like really understand that we are goddesses and that the woman that you are you know divinely attracted to and that you feel is your goddess 
that she is the goddess and she is your divine feminine and to respect and honor her as a divine feminine and if the only thing she's waiting for you to do is step up and just take a leadership role you know as the emperor you know what i'm saying i don't think that's that's hard to ask for you know i don't think that's hard to ask for you know what i'm saying some people just don't want to listen you know and just refusing to see it. They may need to release certain things that's blocking this love from coming to them very abound. You know? You got a goddess right here in the center. You know? You need to show her some compassion, you guys. Let me give you some guidance and love. And then we gonna get on out of here. Ooh, I like how y'all reading when y'all reading was Juicy Lucy. Y'all reading was Juicy Lucy. Ooh. Oh. So, for the singles, go out there and flirt. Find somebody new. Get more engaged. Go out there and, like, engage and, like, meet new people. One monkey don't stop no show. One monkey do not stop no goddamn show. Oh, shit. Okay, so for <laughs> the couples, all right? So, I feel like there's a soulmate. There's a soulmate in your energy that you want to reconnect with, okay? But there's certain things, there's some control issues that you need to let go of. Something that you need to let go and that you're trying to control in this situation. And I feel like... I feel like the thing is, like... The thing that you're trying to control is you're not trying to allow the situation to, you know, evolve and just unfold naturally. Because this person that you're dealing with, they don't think that you can be the one right now. And they're not optimistic. And, and, and there's no chemistry going on in this situation. You know, right now, I feel like it's just it's just not a good time for the situation. It's not a good time. It's not a good time. You know? It's not a good time. And the reason why it is is because you need to let go of control issues with your pride and your ego. You know what I'm saying? And if you want this relationship to get reconnected for your passions to get reconnected because this is a couple that's still living with each other y'all still live with each other in the house y'all are just going through like a tough time in y'all relationship right now i just feel like y'all just coexisting around each other and right now y'all really need to reconnect like y'all need to come back together y'all need to get the passions like just re we going in your life because like this is your soulmate and y'all really really love each other it's just like someone is being a victim to someone's pride and ego because they don't want to break down and change and spark and put a little bit more intensity or show a little bit more passion and emotion you know what i'm saying and they're not paying attention to the sign that if you do not this person feels a victim to your pride and ego and if you do not pay attention to the sign this person is going to leave you do you understand what I'm saying? They want this relationship to get hot and sweaty. They want you to just say those five little words and make a decision. You decide where to eat some goddamn times. You know what I'm saying? They're still waiting. They're still waiting for you to shit that they asked you to do forever ago. And that's to be the emperor. And to step up and make things hot and sweaty and passionate. And tired of being a slave to your fucking ego. They think that you're their soulmate, but at the end of the day, if you're not going to appreciate them as the goddess that they are and, and, you know, give them that passionate relationship that they're looking for, they're going to move the fuck on. They are going to move the fuck on, you guys. So, um, I want to say that's it, but I'm going to go for one more clarification for April before we leave, just because I love you. And you guys are one of my most watched signs, so... You know, hopefully y'all get everything that y'all can get in this video. But you know what? If y'all most watched again, y'all gonna get another bonus. Like, shoot. Ain't, ain't my fault. Ain't Libra fault y'all show up and show out. Please give Libra some additional guidance for April. Thank you so much, Father God. Thank you so much. So... The seven of coins, okay? So, I feel like you have been patiently, patiently, patiently 
waiting for the results of you know your labor and everything but i just feel like it's just going to take a little bit more time all right that ladder that you started climbing you know it's a little bit taller than you thought you see what i'm saying but it's just how can i put it to you it may take some it may take a little bit more time but you got to be patient and you got to pay attention. That's what I want to tell you. You got to pay attention. You got to be focused and you got to pay attention because your blessing will come by so quickly that if you don't pay attention and grab and grab it, it'll miss you. And then you'll turn around and all of your, like, I feel like as soon as your fruits become ripe, if you don't pick it off of the vine within 24 hours like they'll die and you went through all of that hard work for no reason and you missed your harvest you see what i'm saying so it's like you gotta really pay attention you gotta be patient you gotta be patient watch and pay attention and stay focused you see what i'm saying or you're going to completely miss your harvest here you see what i'm saying all right and there's that goddamn emperor you're going to oh my goodness you're going to miss your harbor messing around with this emperor I feel like this emperor is, you want this person to be something that they're not. It's like this person is not, you're going to miss your harvest. And you already got a child to take care of. You got a family to take care of. You got things to take care of. You're going to miss your harvest fucking around with this emperor. This person does not know how to be a man. This person does not know how to be a protector, a provider, a nurturer, a giver. This person does not know how to be the person that you want them to be. You understand? And I know you want this person to step up and to kind of just take charge, but you can't make someone be something that they're not. You can't give someone a title and put a false hat on somebody that they're not ready for. You know? So you need to respect yourself as the goddess. You know? Be compassionate. You know what I'm saying? And just choose wisely. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. I love you guys. I hope this video resonated. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and your light. And I love you guys so, so, so much, Libra. I really, really do. Um, please make sure you hit that like video. If you're new to the channel, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right. And if you think that this video resonates with someone or someone needs to listen to this and you know it makes sense for someone in their situation go ahead and share share if you care um if you want to book a reading go ahead and hit that about tab there's a hyperlink that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me all right click that and um if you want to give a love donation go ahead and do so look in the description for the paypal i love you guys I was thinking, gosh, I was thinking about doing something else. Whatever. Anyway, I love you. Peace.